What's up YouTube? Ian with TPS Madison here. I'm going to do a short little walk around of the new Toro Grandstand Multiforce. Uh, this machine is truly um, you know, a four season machine. It is versatile as hell. Um, super productive. It's done fine on hills for me. Traction has really not been an issue. I do have antifreeze in the tires. I do not have the weight kit. Um, so with the antifreeze combined with the rider weight um, of me, and I weigh about 185 pounds, I uh, haven't had any issues. Now, the blade itself is a five-foot blade. As many of you know, um, we have the poly edge. As aside from sidewalks, we also use this on stamped concrete driveways. As you can see, it puts down plenty of down pressure, actually lifts the front wheels off the ground. And all in all, the plow to machine or the size of the plow to machine ratio, I think really, really does well. So I got about 52 hours on this machine, um, you know, just kind of getting through that break in period and really haven't had any issues other than a bad starter that kept blowing fuses. All that aside, I um, really, really like this machine. Let's get to some of this footage so you guys can better understand you know, what this machine's capable of. All right, so get into some of this footage. As you can see, moving pretty good down this walk. Um, one pass. That's the name of the game, right? You don't have your standard 21-inch Toro snowblower making three and a half or four passes just to, just to get it done. It's all about efficiency, right? And just to give you a better idea of you know how efficient it is, these walks that I'm doing right now are on the exterior of the property. We'll be going to the interior in a second here. But altogether, we got about 2,000, just over 2,000 feet of sidewalk. Now, I can get this done in between five and six minutes. Um, now, that's not including shoveling up by doors and, and whatnot, but that's you know just getting the main walks open. Five and a half to six minutes, so five to six minutes, 2,000 feet of walk, that's pretty good. Now, this particular storm, there was about five inches on the ground just below I believe when I was out making the initial pass this is about five in the morning now as you can see I'm not really having much trouble getting around granted this was a cold night um, this was pure powder but five inches of powder no problem that can answer some of these guys questions I've seen in terms of you know how much can this thing handle what's its capability um, you know, five inches of powder, no problem right here. Moving forward, this is where it gets fun. Um, you're going to see here, I'm going to make this turn. We're going to come on the inside of this property and totally kill it. Again, imagine doing this with a snowblower, your typical Toro snowblower, right? You're shoveling crews out with snowblowers. Um, you know, some of you guys already might have sidewalk machines, whatnot. You know, great, but you know, your average shoveling crew is, is going to be rolling with snowblowers, right? So look at these turns you know granted it's 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 pretty tight but this is the, again this is why i bought this machine it is super versatile the fact that you can turn on a dime is amazing uh, and you know again you know five inches of powder you know yeah whatever but it, it, it can move some snow it can really move some snow
Now, coming up in here in a, in a second, you're going to see me transition into this parking lot. Now, most guys are going to be like, well, why are you doing this parking lot with this little machine? It's going to take you forever, right? Well, this particular property is goofy in the sense that it has this interior courtyard, which to gain access to, you need to go into the parking garage, which then spits you out a separate garage door into the middle here. So you can bring a truck back here. Um, however, I choose not to. Uh, I think it's actually quicker to do with, with the multi-force. I can do this lot, which is about 6,400 square feet in about 15 minutes. Um, and given the fact that there's always cars parked back here and again, just the limited limited space, um, you know, this, this is a great, great example of how I use this machine and how other people could certainly use this machine. Now I've cut out a bunch of this just because I don't want to waste you guys' time, but I do want to show you some of the upcoming footage because it's, it's important to those that ask the questions about how much snow can this move, what's, you know, what's its limits. Again, um, as you're going to see, you know, moving forward here, some of these piles that I'm pushing back are, are you know, they're not huge, but for a machine of this size, you know, they're, they're significant enough. Um, no issues you know you can hear the engine working a little harder here and there but you know it might have some spinning tires but you're still moving forward right another thing that I'd like to mention that is I really want to tip my hat to Toro on is how high this blade is able to be lifted into the air now I, I don't know the specific specifications on the height but you know it's plenty high where if you're unloading on and off a trailer you're not going to be scraping the gate or the pavement or or whatnot and you know as you can see stacking some of these piles maybe able to get the snow higher than you know you typically would with like an ATV or something so um, kudos to Toro Well, thanks for bearing with me guys sorry my editing skills aren't the best uh, coming up here you're gonna see my last couple pushes again some good amounts of snow being moved um, you know I just wanted to get this video out there because I know one of the biggest issues I had before purchasing this machine was the lack of real-world videos real-world reviews um, they're just I mean and there still really isn't that much out there so I hope that I, you know, can help some of you guys out. And in my future videos, I hope to get, you know, different angles. I mean, I have some different mounting ideas of how I'm going to mount my camera to the mower, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but, you know, just wanted to get this out there again, just so you guys can kind of see what's going on and get a better feel for, you know, what this machine's all about, what its capabilities are, so on and so forth. So, yeah, once again, that's about it. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what questions you want answered. Let me know what footage you want to see. I'm going to definitely have more sidewalk footage, uh, stamped concrete footage, circular driveway footage. Um, got all that stuff in the queue. Hoping to get some more snow here so we can get some more videos up for you guys. But leave me a comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.